This is the perfect budget 1440p PC build that you can buy right now with all brand new PC components. I will show you all the components and I will also explain what this PC is capable of running with the estimated FPS. This one not only is good for 1440p but it's also great for high FPS 1080p so feel free to buy a 1080p high refresh rate monitor as well. You will have all the links to these components down below in the video description and I will also explain to you how to make this PC a bit more expensive if you have a higher budget that way you get some extra performance. That being said let's get started. For the CPU I picked the i3 12100F going for 100 bucks right now and if you go with the AMD Ryzen 5 5500 which is the competitor of the i3 12100F that is completely fine actually both are really similar in terms of gaming but the i3 12100F is a bit faster so that's why I decided to go with this one. For the motherboard I picked the Gigabyte B660M the S3H AX motherboard. This one is going for 100 bucks. It's nothing too crazy, but it's going to get the job done and it's going to have enough features for 1440p gaming. For the memory kit, I picked the Team Group T4 Spool Can C, 16 gigs of RAM kit, 2x8. As you can see, it's a beautiful kit and it's only going for $36 on Amazon, so I think that it's a great deal for a nice looking kit like this one. For the storage, I picked the Team Group MP33 1TB of Gen 3 SSD, going for only $40. $2. Now, if you want to make this PC cheaper, I would recommend you downgrading to 500 gigs of SSD, especially if you are not going to download a bunch of games. Let's say you only want to download two or three games, then 500 gigs is enough and you will save up some money. For the graphics card, I picked the RX 6650 XT, as this one is not only a great option for high FPS 1080p, but you will also be able to get high FPS at 1440p in some titles and at least 60 plus FPS on average in most games 1440p depending on the settings. For the case I picked the Antec NX320 ATX mini tower case right now is on a discount and that's why I picked it. Maybe when you're watching this video it's not on sale anymore. I do recommend you checking the latest prices in the links provided in the description. But for 55 bucks you get 3 RGB fans, a fromish panel, really good airflow for this type of build and the only thing that you don't have here is the exhaust fan so if you want to add one extra fan for the back you can do it for around $12 if you want an RGB option but honestly it's not completely necessary but it's something that you can do and it's going to look better and give you better airflow overall. For the power supply I picked the Bitphoenix Formula 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply this one is going for $45 on Newegg and it's C tier rated so it's going to be enough for this build. The total price for this system by the time that I'm recording this video is $657 which is an excellent price for a 1440p PC build. Right now on the screen you can see the estimated average FPS on different titles at 1440p. Not bad at all for a $650 gaming PC build. And at 1080p you can expect even higher frame rates so I will give you a 1440p and a 1080p monitor recommendation in the description as well right below the PC build itself. So if you want to save a little bit on this system then just like I said before downgrade the storage to this MSI M4 50 500 gig SSD. This is Gen 4, really fast for gaming. You don't need more than this in terms of speeds. And the total price for the system will be around 640, so you are under 650 dollars here. I do not recommend you downgrading anything else, especially the GPU, if you want to play at 1440p. If you just want to play at 1080p, you can go with the RX 6600 instead and save a ton of money and get this system for under 600 dollars. Still a great performer with the 6600, just not as great for 1440p so just keep that in mind and if you have more money to spend for a better 1440p performance then for the total price of $759 by the time I'm recording this video you can get the RX 6700 XT which is going to be better than the 6650 XT so if you want to play at higher graphics settings in most titles 6700 XT is recommended over the 6650 XT however if you're just going to play let's say games like Fortnite or Minecraft Minecraft, this will not make a huge difference because the FPS are going to be high enough already for you to notice. And then for the power supply, I picked the same Bitphoenix formula but a 700 watt power supply instead of a 600 because you need more wattage for this system. And then if you want a pre-built PC instead because maybe you're on the market for a pre-built instead of a PC build, you don't want to build it yourself, I completely understand, then I do recommend you getting this Victus 15L and clicking on customize and buy, changing the secondary storage to 1TB 
of hard drive and changing the GPU to the RX 55 fan width. Now, it's not going to be as powerful as the PC build because here you get the i5 1200 width, but then you get 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD, 1 terabyte of hard drive, which is more storage overall, but then you get the RX 55 fan width, which is nowhere near in terms of performance as the 6650 XT, and I wouldn't recommend it for 1440p gaming. I only recommend this PC for entry level 1080p. So just keep that in mind. If you're getting a private PC, you are not going to get the same performance. But for 658 bucks, you can get this system. It's going to be functional and it's going to give you solid performance for entry level 1080p gaming. And yes, don't worry, if you just play esports titles like Valorant and Fortnite, you will be able to achieve high FPS. So you can buy a high refresh rate 1080p monitor as well. And if you need personal PC help, because maybe your budget is different, down below in the video description on the top link, you can answer a couple questions and I will help you out with your personal situation when it comes to buying a new PC. And like like I said before, if you're looking for a private PC, you can watch my video about the best private PCs of the month for different budgets in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.